Would you ever give your house address and keys to a burglar? Probably not intentionally. So how about your email address and password to a hacker? Same answer, I'm sure. Now, would you believe in 2020, one in eight employees gave away their information to a hacker through a phishing attack? It's true. Literally just handed over username, passwords, and who knows what else. Hi, my name is John, and today I'm gonna to show you how to identify a phishing attack so you can keep your information and your organization's data safe and secure. First, what is phishing? And no, it's not done with a hook, a line, and a rod, but it's done with bait. Phishing is the fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information or data, such as username, password, credit card details, or other sensitive company details by impersonating oneself as a trustworthy entity in a digital communication. In short, phishing attacks convince you to give away your information by impersonating an email address or website you already know and trust. Here's an example of a common phishing attack we see almost every single day. Here we can see an email that looks like it might be from Google, but it's not. And the reset password box even takes you to a website that looks like a Google login page, but it's not. Instead, this is an email coming from a non-Google account, taking you to a non-Google website. But since it looks like it is, you might be inclined to use your actual email address and password. And if you did, you've just given your information to a hacker. Now they can log into your system, access your data, and impersonate you. So here are three things to watch out for to help you identify phishing attacks. First, always check the source. Whether it's an email or a text message, be sure to check the address or the phone number it came from. These can be tricky to spot. We've seen a number of examples where email addresses or websites were .co versus .com. Easy to miss, but the difference between your real CEO and an imposter. If ever in doubt, always check with the original sender. This can be a quick phone call or a quick message to the sender to confirm that they are who they say they are. Also, if it's a financial transaction of any type, always verify with a conversation. Second, before you click on links, check them. On a desktop, you can do this by hovering your cursor over the link to see where it's going to take you. On mobile, it's a bit harder. We recommend copying and pasting the URL when possible before you visit the site. If it looks off, it probably is. Lastly, before you submit the information, check the destination. Double check the to field in your email client, or in the case of online login pages or forms, the address of the website in your URL bar. And remember, these can be tricky to spot for even the most seasoned security experts. The difference between .co and .com is subtle, but it's also the difference between a successful attack and a thwarted one. And here's a bonus tip. Never submit anything you wouldn't want shared publicly via email. Email is, by default, not encrypted. So now that you know what to watch out for, go out and practice this on the next email you receive, the next website you log into, or the next form you fill out online. If you follow all of these tips carefully, you'll be better off than 97% of the users out there who are unable to recognize sophisticated phishing emails. And if you have any more questions about a specific email you received, a website or attack, or you would like to learn more about working with a company like ClearBridge, please connect with us. Helping businesses to do their best work while staying safe and secure online is exactly what we do.